now is currently like six in the morning. We are located in North Dakota and we are having duck for supper tonight. But first, we have to go catch some. We are live partners. There are ducks everywhere. Like, there's ducks everywhere. We have, oh, okay. And so it's begun. It is shooting time, apparently. We have no decoys out, and we are just spread out on this old closed road doing some pass shooting. Couldn't get into a field this morning, so we had to resort to this. I'm not too pissed about it, though. There is a lot of ducks. Three pack right here on the deck. They're all going right, though, right over Maya. Oh, got one. Got two. Big ball. Hopefully my GoPro is facing the right, the right way too. It was too dark to get it dialed. Maybe I'll check it a little bit later, but you guys should be able to see a little bit. Oh. Wow, that just wasn't even close. Had the gun stuck under my armpit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go, do we? Three shots, two geese, not bad. Oh, what's this? Oh my God. Probably wondering why I didn't keep shooting at that. It was going back this way and the wind is blowing from our back. So we don't really wanna shoot them out front. We wanna wait till they're like right above us. So that hopefully they fly and land over here just so that the wind will push it to the shore and we don't have to get the kayak out. Cause like I said, the wind's blowing at like a Freaking 40. If it lands out there, it's probably gone. Might have up there. That's why I quit shooting. Did you shoot that that run too? Yeah, but I only shot once because it was way the fuck. There it was on that side. I was like, I ain't getting that kayak. Hey, good shot. Dude, I can't believe I missed that thing. Hopefully the GoPro's on because that was ridiculous. I suck. Dude, I freaking love duck hunting. Oh, right on the frickin' deck. <laughs> that one got a free pass. I probably would've missed, though. He was like 80 up. Dude, it looks so much frickin' brighter on the old iPhone. There's Maddage getting his duck. Oh, whole mob. Oh, why do I keep freaking choking? <laughs> oh, this one's about to get clapped. Oh, right on the deck. Before we get too far into today's episode, y'all, I do want to let you all know that today's episode is sponsored by Tidewee. For all the OG Fishmore fans, you guys have been seeing me wear Tidewee quite a bit over the past, like, two years. Oh, man. Okay, hold on, y'all. Oh, we got him. Good shooting. I'm actually wearing the brand new Deep Wade Tidewee waders today. These things are freaking awesome. They got the new Veil Camel. I think it looks so freaking good. One thing I really love about these waders is they're the breathable ones. They're not they're not neoprene, but for all you people that like neoprene waders, Tidewee also has them too, but I'm a big breathable waiter fan. We got a six pack coming right at us, but I believe these are, these are some pretty warm freaking boots. We got 1600 grams of insulate. That's pretty intense, nice and warm. Perfect for those uh, late season diver hunts and whatnot. These suckers got like one, two, three, four, five. There's a pocket in here. They got five different pockets. They got shell holders here. Just, I'm talking. Top, top of the line. You can't really see these, this pocket and this pocket, but they are so freaking warm and fuzzy in there. I'm gonna leave all their stuff linked down below. If you guys are interested at all, go check them out. And like I said, they also make just tons of awesome products and they're all super, super affordable too. So that's really cool. Oh, butterballs, butterballs, butterballs. Get them. 
<sighs> I'm also going to be leaving a code down below so you guys can get $100 off these waders here. The code is FISHN100. And if you guys see anything else on the site, you can also use code FNM18 and you can get a percentage off on that too. Anyways, huge shout out to Tidewee for sponsoring this video. I freaking love you guys. Stay tuned. Let's try to uh, kill some birds. They are everywhere. Pretty high. I'm scared to shoot everything because I don't want to go get it in the kayak. It sounds terrible. Please, 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 please. They're going right. Coming right over you guys. Man, Maya and Maddage are getting some shooting. What was that? Coming for me. <laughs> I've shot at three different birds, haven't hit shit. Oh, a little premature on that one. Check, check, check. I didn't even notice that. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is a tornado of Steven Seagal's. Look at them suckers. My mic fell off. I have no idea when it fell off. But it did. Oh, this sucker's dead. For shell. For shell, for shell. Got him. Ugh. Tell you what, the ducks are hard to shoot. I can hit those. Holy shit. That was a freaking tanker. What's up, boy? must have came all the way from Saskatoon. This thing's a giant. All right, we are back. Let's do that again. And again, and again, and again. Freaking all the way from, all the way from Saskatoon with that one. That motherfucker was coming right at me, man. I was like, dude, you're gonna crush this motherfucker. I was saying the same no, thing. I was like, <laughs> That's a big mother. Yeah, I know. I could barely get in the kayak without tipping it. Dude, that kayak's sketchy. Dude, I'll be pissed if two finally come over me. Dude, give me a break. Hey, let's get ready to shoot it. Give him another one. You gotta lead him twice as far as you I, think. Yeah. This is fun though. I have no clue if you just heard me and Maya talking, but these birds are hard to hit today. They are freaking coming a little higher than we'd like to take them, and with these gusts, you got to lead them so, so much. I've yet to get them dialed, but once I get that lead down, stay tuned. What's up, dad boy? Killing or are you killing? No? Dude, I'd go to where your dad is. What? I'd go a little past Maya where your dad is. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't getting shit for shooting here either. They're all going to Maya or Dewey. Yeah. It is time for a little breakfast. Lucky Charm cereal bar. It's a champion. Too bad it ain't a burrito. I got a burrito Dude, I you. forgot it again. That sucked. Like I mentioned earlier, we've been out here for five days already. I haven't filmed a single thing. It's been pretty cool. Just been hanging out, killing. Man, it's a damn shame. There is two geese coming right at me. Where's my gun? Oh, that was one of the good peas. A little bit of bad news, y'all. God dang, GoPro died. I have freaking spare batteries, but... The power pack's freaking dead. 
that really sucks. I am not prepared out here. Not sure what we're gonna do now that I don't have a GoPro. Okay, even more bad news. This phone is dead too. So, we'll probably just see you back at the cabin for, uh, I don't know what we're cooking yet, but we're definitely cooking something. A little update on the morning, y'all. Got the personal iPhone out, hanging out with Ned. What we got there? Show the people back home. No. Probably the best when you're slamming these and <laughs> absolutely slamming the trophy of the duck. Ooh, the ruddy. The ruddy duck. Mm. The swimmer of the family, you could say. <laughs> they don't find much. <laughs> it was like 10 o'clock, y'all. We are just laying in the dirt. It's been pretty slow since uh, my GoPro died and whatnot. I haven't even shot at another bird, so if you guys haven't missed out on much. Yo, there's a three pack. Obviously going right. <laughs> what are you doing? More ruddies? I'm waiting for him to swim in. Yo, let me another one of those suckers. I know. I know. Those are insane. Some better than shooting ruddy ducks. It's not. Breakfast of champions. A little update, yo. Not sure how we made it here, but we are at a little bar and casino. Check it out. Look at the mountains over here. Freaking snow goose drinking some captain. Pheasant and mallard drinking some caps. Oh, damn. I didn't even notice this. Damn it. Look at this big boy. Damn. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to go clean some birds in a little bit. We will see you back at the cabin. What's going on here? Come on. What is this crushing my game though? A little turn of events, y'all. We are not gonna be cooking duck tonight. Instead, we're gonna go out in the morning and I think we're going to do this whole kill and cook thing tomorrow. Yeah. Go to bed, dude. <laughs> Stay tuned. We will see you guys in the morning. Should we? Not too Damn it. Damn it. Should we? Well, when is it? Oh. Everything I was going to shoot at, got shot at. Yep. <laughs> one right at you. Nice shot. Fireball! Shoot that thing, cousin. Another one coming right at us. Oh my god, he's dead. Seven. Make sure you get that one too. Oh! Look at him skip. Right in the decoy. Kill him, Murph. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 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 eight. Come back. We got four down. That was cool. That one's dead to the right ha, for sure. Ha, another two. one fell. Do it. Nice. 
one's got a sprig on it like you wouldn't believe. Can you get all fingers on or you just like two? What? What? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Cabin. We're about to clean these suckers up, get a pile pick. Stay tuned. I'm talking. Whoa. Just got done cleaning them birds, y'all. About to freaking wash my hands and whatnot. Really quick, about to give you guys a little tour of where we've been staying the last week. First room we're visiting, me and Nick's room. This is where Nick's been sleeping. This is where I've been sleeping. I just got stuff freaking everywhere. Then right over here in the corner of our room, check this out, freaking sauna. What? Then on this side, we got a freaking tannin bed. This place that we're staying at used to be a YMCA, so uh, it's like freaking huge. Right next to me and Nick's room, this is a big old bedroom. This is where Maya, Dewey, and Maddage have been staying. Going to this room here, we got the gun cleaning slash gun station. This is where we just have all of our stuff. This is Maya's cubby. This is my cubby. This is Dewey's cubby. And the other guys' cubbies are over here. For all the OG Fishmore viewers, you guys have probably seen this place before. We've been coming here. I believe this is my third year in a row coming here and the other guys have been coming here for like seven years here's the drying room this is where we hang all of our stuff out to dry and here we got foosball table ping pong table over here we got some friggin treadmills like i said this was a ymca so it's got a water fountain then you come down the stairs here and bam full friggin gym super badass then you go to the right here and what do you know racquetball court Got some gnarly echoes in here. Yo! Go to this side here. We got a freaking basketball court. <laughs> what? Echoes are really sick in here. I like to come in here and practice duck calling. It's really fun. First try. <laughs> <laughs> then on the third level, we got another huge bedroom that sleeps like five more people and then the full kitchen. You guys will probably see that later when we start cooking. Anyway, stay tuned y'all. We still got like an hour before I think we're gonna start cooking. Uh, usually don't start cooking until it gets dark, so stay tuned. I'm about to go wash my dirty hands and yeah, we'll see you guys for supper. I also talked to Maya, it sounds like we're gonna be having the duck fajitas, so. Camp dogs, camp dogs, camp dogs, camp dogs, camp doggity dogs. I love that we're just doing this on the table. So like this, small? Yeah, I got that now. Is that good? Yeah, it's really good. Okay. No bigger than that. Okay. So like you can cut these? Yeah, you could. You don't have to do all of them, but try to do that. That? It's so good. See that there, boy? We shoot the ducks, he goes and gets it. Yeah. Defecto. Chancho. 
I need to butter some twigs. <laughs> what? I need to butter some twigs. Get them on there. Get them on. Get them on and get the seasonings on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Are you ready for this? Tony on the Tony. Sponsor us, Tony. Hey, Tony. That'd be actually pretty cool. Yeah. Sponsor us. Sponsor my phone. Yeah. Sunkiss is better. No, Orange Crush is. Oh, no, the Budweiser. Orange Crush is definitely better. Yeah. They walk down the ditch up the other side, stood there and looked at it. Why stop? They just stood there and looked at it. They never, obviously, never been stopped. Dude, stop it! <laughs> Better not be in my goose bag. <laughs> I love how we're just cooking next to the decoys. Just piled up. It used to be 180 bucks without a six pack. It's the first two thirds. Wow. You know the key to sweating an onion. Oh, yeah. Get it on the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, this is the onion bowl. Uh, I'd, I'd go up grouse fishing, or grouse hunting. <laughs> grouse hunting. I was thinking fishing at the same fishing. time. But... Grouse, how, how many did you catch? Don't y'all always have sweaty? Those are onions, and they're done. And they are sweaty. I need some help here. Oh, you're good. Let me know if they're going. Well, it's not going to be done, but that could be Okay, that's good. Hey, Tony. Tony. We need you. <laughs> Cream de la cram. Is that right? Cream de la cram? Yeah. Cream de la snam. And that, folks, is how you make the heaters. What's up, buddy? <laughs> the duck is gone. Time to bring it all together. I wonder what the poor people are eating today. Not this. <laughs> Bush. Come and get it! Food is ready, but to show you guys how to make the best duck fajita. Oh, I thought you said time. What's the deal? What's the deal? All right. Well, I throw down a strawberry milk. Uh, I never knew they could melt strawberries. It's made from strawberries. <laughs> Loser, you think? That's the way it works, homie. Who was on this plate? Oh, dude. Just a spoon for the rice. Oh. Is that oh. Milk? Mm. Yes. It looks so perfection. Oh, where are the taters? I'm going to sauce some of those on here. Just a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, might as well. Did you already crush one? Yeah. One out of ten? Ten. <laughs> They're fire. Good. Make you want to sauce them on. Well, that's all right. I'm going to eat one, boys. You just got to do this, Murray. A little too hard at the hard to Take it to a whole nother level. Holy yeah, crap. Mm -hmm. Two more stuff. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the taters. I know, dude. They kind of got on me shit, boy. Are these nuts? 
Mm. Ooh, the shredded cheese that's on the spice dough. Not an actual spice, if I have but just meaning one, goodness. I rip some shredded cheese. Dude, sour cream. Game changer. Oh, yeah. Game changer. Yeah, sure, that's a good idea. I'm about to crush. I'm starting to like that it needs a little more in the paper. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I love poppers. I love eating poppers, but dude, that's like something you just do a few of. That was freaking bomb, y'all. That was so freaking bomb, y'all. I'm about to go into a duck coma. That was actually the third time we've had duck fajitas on this trip. We just keep cooking them because they're so bomb. The hugest shout out to Marshall Outdoors for cooking that, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and link his channel down below. Go check it out. He made a freaking banger duck hunting video just the other morning out here. And I'm in it. So if you guys want to see us crush some more ducks... Go check it out. One more time, the hugest shout out to Tidewee for sponsoring today's video. If you guys end up purchasing them waiters, make sure to use code FISHN100 and you can get $100 off. And then for everything else on the entire site, use code FNM18 and you can get percent off that too. Yeah. Stroke that thing, Kazo! <laughs> <sighs> Can't even walk, bro. Yeah, we hiked like freaking miles today. Miles. <laughs> Just dead, eh? Call the I got four ducks to kill in the morning. I'm gonna go read it, so. Really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you could like it, share it, smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for some more. And yeah, love you. Peace out.